Hi guys, it's Alex here outside the Etihad Stadium. I've just watched Manchester City's 1-1 draw with Celtic and we have cemented ourselves a place in the last 16 of the Champions League. So here are five things we learned from tonight's game. Number one, Kelechi Iheanacho is good enough to replace Sergio Aguero, or for the next four games at least. Maybe we all needed reminding. We were all appalled and worried after what Sergio Aguero did to David Luiz and the four-match ban that has come with it. But Kelechi reminded us tonight that maybe he is capable. He did it for us when Aguero was out for the Manchester derby he did it for us with Bournemouth at home he showed he is capable and maybe actually we don't need to be too worried about the next four games and Kelechi Iheanacho is one of the brightest prospects in the league and number two it's not just about Kelechi Iheanacho it's about the whole youth process as well Pablo Maffeo got himself 60 minutes Toshin Adarabayo got himself a 90 minutes Angelino on the bench Phil Foden on the bench as well for a 16 year old alright it would have been lovely to see him get some football but for him to sit next to Sergio Aguero and be part of the squad and get that match day experience will do him the world of good and hopefully later in the season we'll see him getting a little bit of football as well and for Patrick Roberts playing in Celtic we're hearing all the news stories about how well he's doing up there but tonight we got to see for himself that actually he can do it in a big Premier League stadium and scored his goal took it well and looked a bright light throughout the game so maybe it shows that Manchester City the big money club that are ruining football are actually let's pay a little bit more attention to our youth football because we've got some really bright prospects coming through number three we are now an established European club this is the fourth season in a row that we have made it to the last 16 and we're showing time and time again that we are Champions League regulars and we're getting a little bit closer to that European elite, the Paris Saint-Germain's, the Barcelona's, the Real Madrid's, the Bayern Munich's that seem to be at that quarter-final stage and so on. Last year we did really well, made it to a semi-final and now we've got a chance to prove that that wasn't a fluke. Let's look at the teams that we could draw in the last 16. Monaco, Napoli, Juventus or Sevilla, Atletico Madrid and Dortmund or Real Madrid. Now, well, admittedly, either of the Madrid clubs would be a horror draw for us it would be a real tough ass to go there and get a result but when a Monaco could come out and no disrespect to Monaco they're a great team but I'd really really fancy us to beat them home and away now let's look at our chances here to progress let's look at the way that we've played in the Champions League all right we played a B team tonight and all right we didn't cover ourselves in glory at Gladbach away but ultimately we've shown how we handle Barcelona here that on our day when we get it right we can take anyone in this competition and I'm not going to say we can win it but I'm going to say we can go deep into the Champions League this year. Number four, we need to get a win here at the Etihad. It is now six games since we've taken three points, since we've scored more goals than the opposition. And maybe it's time that we start looking at this and hoping we aren't going to start getting demons. We aren't start going to get cold feet in front of goal here at home. Because back in the old days, the tears where we actually won the league, the Etihad was a fortress. It doesn't feel that way. Too many times we've come away here saying it was a bad day at the office. Things didn't work out for us. We didn't take our chances. We did have several chances out there today and Kelechi took his goal well but we need to get a win here sooner rather than later before it starts becoming an issue that we can't even win our games at home. And last but not least, number five, I think something we can all take away from today's game is that Celtic fans are absolutely mental. They come, they stand in the freezing cold, they sing all day and they know how to generate an atmosphere. And let's be honest, it's something that I think every club could learn from it. So shout out to all the Celtic fans, all the Hoops fans who made it down here for a dead rubber. I wish I could get that happy about Brendan Rodgers, but good on them. Guys, this is my five things that we learned from Manchester City versus Celtic let me know yours in the comments and while you're there give a thumbs up we are last 16 in the Champions League if that doesn't deserve a like I don't know what does this is Blooming Rising TV I'm Alex and I'll see you next time